Capping off the most tumultuous 48 hours in the presidential race so far, the second debate was marked by hostility from the start. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump bypassing the customary handshake as they met center stage. Trump asked right off the bat about an 11-year-old video in which he uses vulgar language about women and appears to condone sexual assault. This was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. Certainly, I'm not proud of it, but this is locker room talk. He then immediately shifted focus to former President Bill Clinton. Look at uh, Bill Clinton. Far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to women. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously. Four of them are here tonight. I think it's disgraceful, and I think she should be ashamed of herself, if you want to know the truth. Trump's statements echoing his brazen move shortly before the debate when he held a surprise press conference with women who have accused Bill Clinton of unwanted sexual advances. Hillary Clinton didn't directly address Trump's charges, instead going after her opponent's Secretary fitness to Clinton, serve. You, you know, with prior Republican nominees for president, I, I disagreed with them on politics, policies, principles, but I never questioned their fitness to serve. Donald Trump is different. He has also targeted immigrants, African Americans, Latinos, people with disabilities. So this is who Donald Trump is. And the question for us, the question our country must answer is that this is not who we are. Trump, who spent much of the previous debate playing defense, entered Sunday night's debate on the attack. And believe me, she has tremendous hate in her heart. Repeatedly calling Clinton a liar and worse. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. There has never been anything like it. People have been, their lives have been destroyed for doing one fifth of what you've done. And it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself. Secretary Clinton, I want Martha, to follow let, up let, on that. Yeah, I'm going to let, let you talk about it now. Because everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Following up on one of the biggest revelations of the last debate, Trump admitted for the first time that he has avoided paying federal income tax for potentially many years. Did you use that $916 million loss to avoid paying personal federal income taxes? For of course I do. Of course I do. And so do all of her donors, or most of her donors. See, I understand the tax code better than anybody that's ever run for president. After 90 minutes of fire and insult, the candidates that ended the debate with a tone of civility, another. asked to note one positive thing about their opponent. I respect his children. His children are incredibly able and devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. She does fight hard, and she doesn't quit, and she doesn't give up, and I consider that to be a very good trait. Thanks to both of you. Trump is hoping Sunday night's debate performance was enough to stop the mass exodus of Republican support he's seen over the last couple of days in the wake of the video release. The candidates have one more scheduled debate next week before voters head to the polls in November. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.